So now in this video let us define proportion. So we already discussed two examples in our previous video where we compared two fractions saying that they were equal and then we derived some conclusions. So now we are going to define proportion in this video. So proportion simply means comparison of ratios. That's what proportion is. So another way of putting it is that is that if two ratios are equal we say that they are in proportion that is as simple as that you just have two ratios take out their simplest forms or the lowest form and if those two are same we say that they form a proportion and how do we represent proportion we use two colons or an equal to sign to say that the two ratios are equal so now let us use an example to understand how do we represent the proportion so we saw our earlier example in which we had four quantities that is 3, 10, 15 and 50. Now these four are in proportion and how are they written as? So there are two ways. One is that 3 is to 10. This first ratio is equal to another ratio which is 15 is to 50. So this is how we represent proportion, two colons. And the other way is we can use an equal to sign, that is the ratio 3 by 10 is equal to 15 by 50. Similarly for the other example that we discussed in the previous video, we had 2, 4, 60 and 120 in proportion and we can write those two as the ratio 2 is to 4 is in proportion to the ratio 60 is to 120 or if we want to use the equal to sign 2 by 4 is equal to 60 by 120. In fact a simple observation about proportion is that if two ratios are equivalent then they are in proportion. It is as simple as that. It is actually the concept of an equivalent fractions where we can find out the other fractions just by multiplying and dividing the numerator and denominator by the same number. Same is the case for two ratios to be in proportion. So two ratios are in proportion if they can if they have the same lowest form of the or if they have the same simplest form. Now let us try to understand or uh, you know get the terms that we use in a proportion. But before that one thing if two ratios are not equal then it simply implies that they are not in proportion. Now in a statement of proportion so let us look this is a statement of proportion that is the ratio 35 to 70 is in proportion to the ratio 2 is to 4. Now the four quantities taken in order that is the four quantities. 35, 70, 2 and 4. These four quantities taken in order are called as respective terms as is shown here. So all these four they are taken in the same order which is important. This order is what that's a convention that we use that we have to pro, uh, give these four quantities in, in the order that is this to form the first ratio, these to form the second ratio that's the way we specify a proportion. The first and the fourth term are called extreme terms that is 35 and 4. So in this case this term 35 and 4 they are called extreme terms because they are on the outside. And the second and the third terms are called the middle terms that is 70 and 2 are known as the middle terms. So let us quickly revise. Proportion simply means comparison of ratios. And if two ratios are equal, they are said to be in proportion. If they are not equal, they are not in proportion. And for us to check whether the ratios are in proportion, we simply reduce them to their lowest form and see whether they are same or not. That is a simple check for us to find out whether two ratios are in proportion. So with that, see you in the next video in which we will solve some problems using proportion.